What is going on guys and girls? Hope you had a excellent weekend. Welcome back to the Orchid Resort. We had a lovely hour-long episode from the live stream. Whether you joined me actually live or you saw it afterwards, hope you enjoyed that one. We took our city in a bunch of different directions during that episode, and this one will be the final episode with, uh, not the final episode of the series, I know a lot of you probably held your breath there and got really nervous, but I just mean the final episode with the Orchid Resort as our focal point. Um, a new city is in need. We have better knowledge now, and I think a third time's a charm. Um, we're gonna really be able to create a beautiful place, but I did want to give one more focal episode. Um, it doesn't mean we won't come back to the Orchid Resort, won't come back and do things or, or utilize it in certain ways, um, but I think just based on my, uh, my constructions, I didn't allow for it to be the best possible, um, and unless I surprise myself miraculously, this episode, like I said, this will be the last episode with Orchid Resort as the focal point. Criminal what? What do you want to do? Okay, so these villains do give us money. Um, I don't want to do. I don't want to do all your stuff. I'm gonna accept your little. Listen, listen, but I'm not plopping Blue Tower unless I can make Maxis Man uh, take you down. Um, so as you notice, our population is very high. Um, at least high for us, what it has been. Um, and something that I, you know, they still say taxes are high, because things are high, I guess, even though I have them at 11%, which is a little weird. Um, one thing I noticed that did serve us quite well was destroying some of these things actually <laughs> actually helped, because the more we destroyed, um, the more we had able to grow and expand. What is wrong with you? Sickness. Yeah. There's lots of things wrong with our city. Um, the gambling house is making quite a bit of money. Um, this gambling house in the, where is it, the, the other gambling house, it's earning money as well, they're actually doing quite well, um, and our ferries, that has gone down in, in price, um, but our train is, is also taking 448 people, I think mainly due to that gambling house, um, that people from the other areas are coming to, so again, a whole, for, for many, many reasons, that third city is going to be a charmer, uh, and we'll be able to utilize the population of Hydra City, etc, etc, so on, so forth, goober, goober, Redond, redond. Um, see, uh, where I feel like this cramped nature is causing these all to be terrible. Um, it's almost as if I took out this entire road, they would do, but dare I say better? Um, I know that could be quite destructive, um, but I think I'm gonna do it. I, I, I get really attached to these Sims, and I feel like I'm ripping their hearts out. Um, but I'm going to do it anyways. I know it's a mean thing to do. But I'm gonna take it out. Um, in, in, in hopes that this side of the road, these guys can expand. Um, and then what I'm going to do... Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Um, do I kill the cars if I do that? Okay, what I'm gonna do is then zone on the other side. Um, hopefully people can move into these spaces now. I don't know. Do you guys want to live here? Does someone want to do that? We're gonna speed up the speed town. Um, and see if anyone's gonna now lay ground here. What do you think? Maybe, maybe not. You gonna move in? <gasps> People are moving in. They're building, they're building. Um, this is not supposed to be where people build this side, right? Okay, maybe it will. I don't know, maybe it'll work. Um, we're gonna throw down some luxury box for the fine folks in this area. Um, uh, be happy. Make them happy, make them happy, make them happy! There's not enough shopping, whatever, you big dum-dums. Um, which one is the vertical? It's not this. It's nature stuff that's... There, see, I can slam that down and give everyone a smile to reverse that freaking frown. Um, what are you sad? We're not, we're not happy! Why are you not happy? Because you're, you're, you're not, see, look at this. Look at these buildings that have instantly sprouted it's a genius move. We can actually accommodate more people if we think things through a little bit more carefully. Um, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take down this property. I think it should allow this to go more. I do have an abandoned building somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow, there's a factory that no one cares about. I could probably take out all of my factories and people wouldn't cry. Um, but as you can see... Things are getting nasty. These are getting bigger all of a sudden, and we're going to have more people. That's a weird voice, dude. Keep that out of my throat. I'm a little scared myself. Um, I don't know if I should bulldoze these or what, but at least we gave them the, the, the opportunity to expand. Um, I don't know if these guys can grow because of these people or what is going on. Um, 
This house has been boxed in by that, which is, what don't you like? The, the taxes aren't high, you big jerks. Sometimes they get so just snooty with their ways. Snooty, what a gross word. Isn't it? <laughs> All right, um, no, get out of here. Boom. All right, well, at least we're building some, the shopping, oh my God. You're right by the shops, aren't you? Aren't these shops? Where are the shops? Yeah, the Cube Galleria. Taxes are killing person. I don't even care. What's up? Manufacturing factories are complaining. Well, golly gee, man. You, I, I, you know, this one's pretty. But they don't... Do they want me to drop taxes? I haven't had taxes be that high for a while. 11% is kind of on the low end, I think. I don't I don't really feel so bad about that. Um, Whoa, sorry. I hope I didn't pop your eardrums. I do have a pop filter, but that was a loud pop. It kind of just came over me like a sudden urge from the heavens above. Okay, um... Need more shops. See, my city has tried to become a jack of all trades, and, and really what I've learned from watching SimCity, playing myself, listening to others, is that you, you can't have a jack of all trades city if you want it to be a mega city. You kind of have to have cities that are specialized um, and then breed and grow off of each other. And that is, again, another reason why that third city is going to be a place of magic glory. Um, none of this stuff can expand. I do a little bit of a sniffly cold, so I hope it doesn't affect you. And you're listening ears too much. Um, see, it's like I should cut most of this stuff. I'm looking for places to destroy. Makes me feel a little bit evil, but... Um, like, honestly, I know it's a little bit sad. And I just let these people move in. You just moved in, you jerks. Um, but I'm going to take them down. Boom. No. I need to dezone this. Only because I hope that this side of the street can expand. Okay. Um, there's quite a demand for a huge commercial. Whoops. Which I don't know how to fill it. I don't know where to put you. Um, there are abandoned ships. In our pirate's cove. And yes, the population has not gone up since we've started this episode. In fact, it's gone down, but... I believe, um, with the right luck. Wow. Where are the other ones? Hey. The factories just are dying. It's an end of an era. Um, I'm hoping that whatever builds here will be beautiful, magical, special, lovely. Um, doom, doom. Yeah, see, I zoned a little too close. I zoned a little too far. I just had all sorts of... It's like you melted the chocolate a little too much. Just a little too much. Now it doesn't just, like, softly soothe into your tongue. It just goops everywhere and gets on your face, and no one's happy. Um, that's an abandoned ginormo factory. Um. <laughs> okay. Come on. Okay, let's try something. This might be disastrous, but since I don't really have much, much hope for, for this portion of the city anyways, um, that's a wind power plant. Goodbye. 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 Oh, and we're gonna de-zone this area. I'm holding my hand out like I'm a chef because I'm kind of doing crazy things right about now. You know what I mean? Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Get out of here. Okay. And you know what we're gonna do? Since we're losing so much money, um, we're gonna put a row of commercial enterprises in. Bringo. All right, now, this is a factory, and the police department is suffering. Crime still has the upper gosh darn hand, even though we have a precinct of police. Um, no, I don't want to follow that bus. Um, jail. Oh, crime prevention center. Drop it like it's hot, $30,000. Budget looms, we're losing a lot of money. That's okay, I don't really care. Um... Do you know why? It's because <laughs> I got rid of all the industrial like an idiot. Um, my, my shipment of a hundred thousand from the uh, if you've been following the episodes, my shipment of big money from Hydra has never come. I don't know if it's being carried by pigeon or by horseback or what. Budget problems loom. Take out that bond, G. Okay. Um. Whatever. I am losing money. 
it's a sad, sad world, but hopefully some nice shops are coming in. Um, throw down some trees. Just to make them happy, you know. A little bit of park formal. Uh, see, those, those parks are big, and so they take up a lot of space. But maybe it'll make the shops more valuable if people are playing basketball right outside the doors. I don't know. Just a thought, just a thought. Um, Department of Finance, Department of Tourism, Department of Department. Wow, that one really shot up. Uh, these guys aren't building. You aren't building, you aren't building. Maybe if I throw a plaza by your face, you will build. Mm, get happy, now grow. Vaporization chamber. Can I sneak a little sneaky, sneaky tree row in here? Oh, baby, baby. Smile and get lovely. I want... Wow. Some, sometimes this looks really, really good. It looks really pretty. Ah, there's a way to change filters. Can I do it from here? Um... Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. No? What? There's some way that I'm able to change the filter on the city. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Well, if you do, let me know in the comments below. Yeah, this, people are leaving. I'm pretty sure we just royally screwed this one up. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's still a valuable city in some senses because we're losing money every hour. No, um, because, I don't know, a commercial could get built and maybe these factories will work and maybe people will move in. I, I don't really know. Neighbors hurting land values. This neighborhood needs more... Why do you need more parks? I don't understand. I feel like I sounded like a Disney villain there. Um, I can only put so many parks in. I don't I don't really know what, what more you want from me. What do you want from me? Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, we can keep putting parks in because we're cool like that. But I'm. you have so many parks to choose from. I don't know how. Ugh. Ugh. Yep. And, and when things go ra really, really bad like this, it's just, you know it's time for a new city. When you're losing that many people that fast, um, we've lost about 7,000. And I thought that getting rid of the uh, industrial and adding commercial would be to our benefit, but maybe not. Um, we have a, a major traffic jam on I-1, the only one I in our entire <laughs> our entire city. Um, but, 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 I wanted to give this, this, this city uh, another shake. And I know I've made some mistakes, but I'm just trying things out. And again, it's kind of an experimental waterfront city that had no real resources and no real business being a fantastic city. I think we took it pretty far. Um, I'm kind of impressed with what we did. I, I think people aren't happy. Taxes are high. I think things got a little goofy. I don't know really where I went so wrong. Um, I think I think I had like a, a spout where I raised the taxes really high, and I think that just goofed the city forever. Um, I wish it would stabilize so that I could just leave it in peace and go do my own thing. Um, cause I raised the taxes when I was in extreme need of money. It's a little bit, a little bit of a desperate move, guys and girls. Um, remind me not to do that again? Okay, thanks. Um, but, like I said, our next city, I think we should be able to do okay. It's just we have so many expenses. I think I expanded out in... In, in ways that I maybe did shouldn't have done so fast. I don't know. Because I did... I did really expand really quickly, and it probably wasn't the best idea. Whoa, that guy is being a slinky. Um, probably wasn't the best idea. Oh, I got some real nice shopping down here going on, I see. Whatever they are. When they build, maybe people will be happy and come in. Hey, you know what we could use? We could use some residential. Even when I destroy the industrial, we still don't have enough residential. What does that tell you? What does that tell you about this land? I don't even know what it tells you. Um, it tells me that something is not right. Something is amiss. Oh boy, I'm losing a lot of money. That's been closed by the mayor. The community college has been teaching. People are protesting. Of course they are. All right. 
I think it's better to have less zoned residential and more bigger buildings. Um, but when these open, I mean, they just keep growing, which is a little strange. It needs workers. I don't know where to put the workers. An abandoned building. This is basically a clean-up shop episode. Um, the building is on fire, and I cannot bulldoze it. Well, just hurry up, firefighters. Um, I feel trapped in this freaking place. Not enough shoppers. Will everyone go here? Is there bus stops by this? Let's throw down a lot of bus stops. Get here. Look at all those buses. Take them, take them, take them, take them, take them, take them. Yeah. It needs workers. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. It's good. Um. There's no real place to zone new residential. I mean, I know that my com stuff is improving. Um, our money situation is stabilizing now after the extreme economic crunch of 2060. But I, 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 you know, these curved roads probably weren't the greatest idea. We want to park. Neighbors hurting land value. Okay. See, the neighbors are hurting the land value. Roach studio apartments. That sounds bad. Um. Yeah, I guess that's a, a bad idea to put small houses by big houses. Um. It's something I can't recommend doing. What I can recommend doing is throwing down large fountain. No, too big. Small fountains. And then everyone's like, oh my god, golly gee, we have so many happy parks. And they're all happy because it's all like plaza living here. Throw it down on me, put it down on me. Open up those parks and make this a happy family tree. I got rid of most of your neighbors so you don't have to cry and whine anymore. Yeah, this city is just about donezo. Um... I don't know, we learned a lot. See, they need more tourists. I think this is at a point where you can't really... I mean, it's pretty. It's so pretty. I feel proud of us. But you can't really do so much with it unless you have... You know, this is the, the blessing and the curse of the New SimCity. Regions are so freaking important. Um, and also, of course, city planning, which I didn't do so well. If we had an industry to really thrive on, um, that would be good. But we're a little bit all over the place. I've got some colleges, I've got some industry, some shopping, and then nobody really knows what to do. Um, you know, if we look at the grand happiness meter, commercials aren't happy. Um, but, you know, population is extremely dropped. I thought we'd be okay, um, by throwing in parks. This is growing. Some stuff is growing. It's just, I guess there's not enough space for this. They, they don't like the high taxes, even though I dropped them to 11%, which is where they begin at, so... I don't know what they're jonesing about over here. Um, I thought we would do something kind of fun. Which I think you might enjoy. Um, you know, Hydra City over here is a tyrannical mess, uh, to say the least. Um, it's kind of a troubled land full of troubled people and zero monies. Uh, they lose money. They stink. They are having a big, big, big problem. Um, so... I thought we would call in a big lizard strike on the expo center. Breaking news. <laughs> the giant lizard attacks Hydra City. Everyone gets scared. The happiness meter should go down. Oh, let's look at this guy. Come here. Hey, whoa. Look at him. Mecha Gohydra Gadron Godzilla Goran. Yeah. Fire. Oh, yeah. This guy's like, I'm totally sick. There's a giant lizard in my backyard. Okay, so we've unleashed him um up oh, there is a disaster in progress so i'm just gonna sit back and watch this happen as he takes down the entire <gasps> hey it's my pet ball how did you get so big that's hilarious um i don't know i didn't feel like this city had much benefit to us and i wanted to showcase a gigantic lego dragon or whatever this thing happens to be um taking over the city and really unleashing its own version of hell and uh, with that, I will announce that, like I said, I think officially next episode begins the third, the Diamond City. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to call it, but I think it's going to be our best bet at making something truly spectacular. We've learned a lot from City 1. Look at this. City 1 to City 2. 
as this dino goes crazy and burns trees instead of all the people. The music has gotten... Oh, and the game crashed. No? 